70,000 fans entered Husky Stadium Saturday, hoping to witness an impressive offensive battle. However, it was the Washington defense who determined the outcome in the final minutes of the game. The dogs were licking their lips in anticipation for their first ever meeting with Boise State. Less than five minutes into the contest, the 22nd ranked opponent were stunned as Jay Clocker scored his third rushing touchdown in the season. Coach Willingham took something from the Boise State playbook when he called for the halfback pass from Lewis Rankin to Quentin Daniels. Jake found Marcel Reese over the middle for a modest gain, but then Marcel broke two tackles and scampered untouched the last 30 yards into the end zone, making the score 24-7. Coupled with the other explosive touchdown, the afternoon's events had every dog dancing in their seats. Finally, the Huskies threw the Broncos a bone when Dallas Dobbs fell on top of a locker fumble. It was only his first mistake in two outstanding games. This catalyst helped Boise State to its first touchdown on a 43-yard throw. On the broad shoulders of Ian Johnson, the Broncos gathered momentum, and it looked as though the Huskies might fold under the pressure. There was times where I felt that we were bending, but like I said, as a defensive unit as a whole, we could not break. So like I said, we did what we had to do uh, up front with the front line and also with the linebackers in the secondary. In the second half, the linebackers were just stuffing the run. The D-line hurried the QB, and the secondary capitalized on every errant throw. Which now brings me to my game ball of the week. My game ball this week has to go to Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Week, Roy Lewis. Here you go, Roy. Players were all excited, and the 70,000 fans could sense a Husky victory. As UW took a knee, they improved their record to 2-0 for the first time since 2001. The 24-10 Huskies win snapped the nation's longest winning streak of 14 games. UW also shut out the Broncos in the second half and held Ian Johnson to less rushing yards than Jake Lawton. Reporting from Husky Stadium, I'm Eric Sather for the Husky Cast.